Aloha, I'm Kiola from Satomu Fishing Company. Today we're going to show you how we cut an ahi. It's one of our traditions here in Hawaii over the holiday season, sharing with our friends and our family. Thank you, Olakai, for Anywhere Aloha Fridays. Mahalo. Okay, first thing we're going to do is take off the fins. Um, I like to do that because it's easier to bag the collar and cook the collar without that long fin on there. Now I'm gonna start the process of taking the head off, but I'm gonna leave the upper head part on because there's a lot of meat in there that we can utilize. So this part is just pretty much all bone and this part has probably my favorite um, meat on the fish. So we wanna save that. This is all just bone and has no value to us. So this part we're gonna throw away and this part has all the meat still yet, and this part we're gonna keep for ourselves. So that's what we're saving. All of that meat that's all up in this head area has all the oils and good stuff. So we're gonna take this, this fin off. So now we're going to take the collar off. So that's another fisherman's cut. And then next step is to take the belly off. So now we're just going to take it from here. Take that off. Okay, so this is the other half of the collar and then um, Again, this is where a lot of the fat and oil is that most people miss out on. Same thing, we're gonna take the belly off on this side. This fin that goes up and down, I wanna get this out of here. Okay, so it's just a matter of getting underneath here. My blade's going right up to the bone because I'm gonna peel this whole thing off. So that whole fin came off in, in that process. Just makes it easier when you're cutting this part, not having to deal with all these bones. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take the, the top quarter off. This initial cut, all, all, all you really wanna do is like, set a road map, kinda cut the skin. When we cut a fish, we're trying to make use as of, of as much of the fish as possible. So, you know, beside the actual skeleton, the lower part of the jaw, and, you know, the bones that are here, most times it's very little waste from a, this is like a 70 pound fish, so. So now I'm gonna take the, the belly side off. This is a little bit of a tougher cut because of the um, bones here, so. I just wanna. There's a, there's a bone structure that actually comes up this way, so the two this way and one up this way, and we're just gonna take that part off now. And then the belly side will just come off. So there's a bottom side quarter. We would have to clean all these bones off and then clean it off here. So now there's a bone right here that I'm gonna take out. So you can see it's a, a lot darker here than here, so. If you're buying this from a fish cutter, he would probably just cut it and cut all this blood out, but. Okay, so now we're gonna cut the bottom, bottom half off. Same thing, you wanna make a cut just to puncture the skin first. Okay, so now we're just gonna take the, the bone off the bottom half. So now you can see, you can see that bone better now. This is the bone we're getting out of, um, the bloodline bone basically, the lateral line bone.
First, we're gonna put this on ice um, while we clean the table, and then we'll start blocking these um, quarters up. We got the fish quartered out, now we're just gonna cut it into blocks, and that's um, how we normally give it away. Depending on the, how big the fish is, the bigger the fish, the less fingers you can go. Okay, so we're gonna make poke tonight. There's so many different poke recipes. Everybody has their own way. This is a quick recipe that I like. So we're gonna take a nice cut of the fish. And we're gonna make some chunks out of it. We're just gonna cut it into bite-sized chunks. Okay, once we got all the chunks together, we're gonna to put it in the bowl. I like Hawaiian salt. This is smoked salt that we made over here at home. I like to add some onions. Little bit of shoyu. I like to put sesame oil. I love sesame oil. Everything but the bagel from Trader Joe's. It's got sesame seeds and garlic chunks and it's a real quick way to season up your poke. Stir it all together. This half an hour ago was a whole fish laying on table and now here we are ready for dinner. Delicious. Mm, that's good. So thank you Olukai for this opportunity. Happy holidays to every one of their families. This is just one of the traditions we have here in Hawaii and hope you guys all have a great Christmas and a happy New Year's. Aloha.